Hi, welcome to my channel, Life with Annalise. Today, I thought it would be fun to give you a tour of our greenhouse, share installation tips, the features that PowerRam offers, as well as how we came about to purchase a greenhouse. Before I do that, I'm going to give you a brief background of our project. We started out with building this seat bench right here around our olive tree. And that project quickly expanded into building a deck. You guys know how that works, right? One project leads to another. So we built this deck here. It is eight by 10 feet. And you know, we were looking at the deck, decided we don't have any enclosed space for during the colder seasons. And decided to purchase a greenhouse multi-purpose to place our plants in there that cannot handle certain weather elements such as the heat or the low temperatures. This is also my quiet space to relax in and lounge. All right, so what I am going to talk about now is our greenhouse. It is a Powram Mythos greenhouse. It comes in sizes six by six, six by four, six by eight, six by 10, and I believe the larger sizes, but those were the ones that we were looking at. After reviewing all the greenhouses and how much it cost, the six by 10 fell into our budget. The price range that I saw online was anywhere between $560 to upwards of a thousand. Now the frame, it's anti-rust aluminum. It came in green, silver, and I believe gray. My first option would have been gray, but if you guys were on the market for greenhouses last year, for some reason it was popular and always sold out. We settled on the silver. Let's talk about the polycarbonate. Now, the polycarbonate, they have clear as well as glazed. We picked glazed. Why? First off, it gave us a lot more privacy. Secondly, I think it's more effective with diffusing sunlight. So during the summer, when the sun is scorching, you're not seeing a lot of reflection and glare. The first one was single wall, which is two millimeter. The second one, which is the one that we picked, is double wall, four millimeter. I am going to give you a more in-depth of our installation experience, tips and features. I'm in my greenhouse now. I recommend that on the day that you decide to install, you pick a day that has calm weather. This will take a few hours to install. It took us two full days. However, I feel like if you hire somebody, it could probably take about eight hours max for two experienced installer. It is very crucial that you unpack it, take inventory, you match the number to the quantity. They should be labeled. The Instruction guide, it's not very detailed. It has photos, picture diagrams that you pretty much just follow. Kind of like 
Lego, right? Only this is for adults. The next step that you take is to collect all the base structural components. There are four corner connectors and two midpoint connectors. You clamp them all together. Then you would measure all four corners to ensure that it is 90 degrees. That way your base is square. This helps a lot when you start to install all these aluminum frames. They are rather flimsy at first. That is the reason why you need to pick a day that is calm. I've heard horror stories of these greenhouses collapsing midway of installing. The other tip that I want to give you, you see all these screws? Do not tighten them too tight. You want to leave yourself flexibility to loosen it up and slide in these polycarbonate pane. As you can see, there's structural support here, similar to uni struts. You will see it in all four corners. Once you're done installing, you'll be pleasantly surprised that this greenhouse is rather sturdy. Now I'm going to move on to features. Just think of these greenhouses as semi-modular greenhouses. We purchased this Mythos greenhouse, which came with manual vent window openers, where you twist and you just open it. Self-explanatory, right? Literally the day after we installed, we experienced a windstorm and the vent window got knocked down several times. Afterwards, we took a trip to Home Depot, grabbed this auto vent window opener. It has a built-in temperature, humidity level control. It automatically opens and closes to allow sufficient airflow. This is sturdy and there's actually screws here that you can secure onto the window frame. It's heavy enough where the window does not fly off. I would highly recommend this. The other addition that we picked up was this galvanized heavy duty shelf. It's 16 inches across. Very sturdy construction. I'm pretty sure you can put two or three pots on here. You can also place it at different areas. Let me try to zoom in here for you guys so you can see how you would just attach it to your greenhouse. While at Home Depot, we did notice that PowerRam offers some additional vent windows. You can install for more airflow. They also have temperature control. They have greenhouse heaters. There's just so many options that you can 
add on. Finally, we've got these plant hooks here. They come in 10 packs for $10. Quite expensive, but when you see this in person and feel it, it's very solid. There's grooves right here where you just line them up, twist it, and voila, plant hanging. All right, I am going to take you on the exterior of the greenhouse now. the door. There is a locking system. You turn it, the hole lines up. You can get a padlock and lock it. There's also a magnet down at the bottom where you can just snap it over to the base and it would lock it in place so if there's winds it won't be flapping around and possibly causing damage to your door. Rain gutters. It comes with two rain gutters. You can place it at any corner of your greenhouse. You can see here, there's rain gutter. It collects water, runs down, and we would just put bucket at the bottom to collect the water and use it. Great idea, right? The height of the power am greenhouse, at the very top, it would be seven feet. So that was all for my Powram Mythos Greenhouse. I hope you guys have enjoyed my video and hopefully you learned a few things. I love it. I highly recommend it. And I will be making more videos like this. So let's stay connected.